Hello and welcome to the January USGNN newscast. I'm Casey Neely, contributing editor for USGNN and US Glass Magazine. We're here at Classic Glass in Alexandria, Virginia, where we caught up with President Karen Elkin, who told us about some of the residential glazing trends. The company offers a variety of decorative glass services, including stained glass restoration, art glass repair, design, installation, and etching. What sort of trends have you seen in residential glazing lately? Well, for kitchens, one of the most popular products is back-painted glass, and that can be used for backsplashes, countertops, even kitchen tables, and we've got many examples of uh, all three styles, uh, three areas, um, using back-painted glass. Um, the nice thing about back-painted glass, and the reason people love it so much, is because it's so easy to maintain. These are samples that we make for customers to approve the color, and we can match um, Benjamin Moore, Sherwin-Williams, or any Pantone colors. Actually behind us is the color of my kitchen. Um, mm -hmm. This happens to be a back-painted sign that we use for shows. We recently just did a really fun piece for a bathroom. Um, the, the client was a fan of Roy Lichtenstein's work. Okay. And we designed a really fun window. And it said, splish in the Roy Lichtenstein style, you know, mm -hmm. how his, his lettering pops and mm -hmm. looks 3D. Okay. That, w that was a really fun project. Um, as far as shower doors go, I mean, we do an awful lot of um, uh, etching on shower doors. People like to e have the psychological privacy. Mm -hmm. So we'll etch a band, um, some stripes or a graphic of some kind, kind of in the middle of the glass and the okay. top and bottom left clear. Um, that's really, really popular. Cast glass is always really popular for uh, shower enclosures because it gives you the privacy and uh, it, it's a very beautiful and different pr and contemporary product. How is interest picking up in residential? Are you seeing uh, an increasing number of residential projects? Or are you still getting more commercial work? I think that um, in the last year or so, the residential market has opened up a bit. I think people are, are, aren't quite so afraid to spend their money right now. Um, uh, our, the bulk of our business has always been commercial, so I, I think the ratio might have been a little skewed the last few years um, to be residential almost non-existent, so it's, it's coming back a little bit. Well, I think people are starting to be able to sell their homes, buy new homes. It's just opening up in general. And how closely do you work with the architects and the homeowners? Very closely. Um, okay. Architects uh, m mostly they come up with the concept and you know it's our job to uh, make sure it gets produced on time and on budget. Mm -hmm. um, homeowners um, need a lot of hand-holding sometimes. Glass is pretty exciting mm -hmm. uh, for people. They love it. Um, they, get, they, they get very excited about it and you know it's nice to share in their mm -hmm. excitement. It, How do you come up with new product ideas? Is it because a customer comes in and requests something that you never thought about doing before? Or are you generating these new ideas consistently or basing them on trends? Or what are you inspired by when you come up with these new glazing ideas? Well, it's kind of all of the above. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I wear the hat of the crazy projects department where people come in and go, I don't know if this is possible. Mm -hmm. But we always enjoy the research and development of and, and uncharted territory mm -hmm. of, of doing new things. I also work with some really gifted and creative people and they come up with their own ideas. We're, we're sitting next to one right now. Mm -hmm. um, with uh, the, there's cast glass that's carved and back painted. I think that inspiration comes uh, from a, a number of sources and you can never tell when, some, when you're gonna be, you know, sometimes in the middle of the night I'll wake up with an idea. I literally keep a pad and paper next to my bed. And now a word from our sponsors. Welcome back. At the company's showroom in Alexandria, Virginia, Elkin has a collection of potential designs available for customers to view, which includes some of the latest residential design trends. Crackle glass is produced, it's a triple layer laminate with a piece of tempered glass in the middle of two plate glass and you break the tempered glass and you, it gets this beautiful cracked ice looking glass. It's very popular for kitchen tables um, and we've even done a, a, a back painted with a silver paint backsplash behind a stove. 
This is a, actually a back-painted product. Uh, we had a, this was for a lady's dining room. Um, she was covering the seats of her chairs with this fabric and wanted to know if we could laminate it for her uh, buffet. And it as it turned out, this wasn't a suitable uh, fabric for laminating, so we copied the pattern using a back painting technique. This is a very unique product uh, that we're pretty proud of. Um, we took a piece of low iron glass and carved the Greek key design into it and then back painted the whole thing. So it creates a really beautiful embossed look as a nice architectural detail for a backsplash or, or tabletop. This is a really beautiful laminated product, a uh, white on white pattern that's translucent and it was designed for a kitchen backsplash that had uh, backlighting. Uh, so when you turned on the kitchen lights, the backsplash lit up too and it was very beautiful. A recent installation that we are very proud of is a back painted contemporary sort of a tiled counter and uh, we worked with a designer, Matt, uh, Mercedes Getz, uh, very gifted designer and she came up with this concept. It was one of those wish projects and we were able to pull it off. That's all for this month's newscast. Be sure to check back in February where we take a look at the Kitchen and Bath show held in Las Vegas. I'm Casey Neely. Thanks for joining us.